When you approach a sales campaign, the first question you should ask yourself is, what problem category am I in? So there's a thing called the problem scale. There's four steps to it. So the first step in the problem scale is latent. A latent problem is I am a prospect. I have the problem, but I don't know it. You walk into my office and you make me aware of the problem. I have an aha moment and I'm now like, wow, I didn't even realize I had that problem. Okay. So that's the low end of the problem scale. One step up from that is called a passive problem. A passive problem is I'm aware that I have the problem, but I'm still sitting on my butt and I'm not doing anything about it. It's not a, it's a, it's a stone in my shoe. It's not a thorn in my side. It's not painful enough where I'm doing anything about it. And if you're, Going after that type of problem, you're gonna run into do nothing all the time, or you're gonna run into really long sales cycles. When they get around to it, they'll get around to it. The third type of problem on the problem scale is called an active problem, okay? So I have a problem, I'm aware of it. I'm actively looking for a solution, but I don't know what to buy. It's like uh, walking into a shopping mall, you know, and you wanna buy a shirt, but you don't know if you should go to Nordstrom's, Macy's, Neiman Markets, like you really don't know what you're looking for. Am I looking for a short sleeve shirt, a long sleeve shirt? You know, what's my size, what color, et cetera. You wanna solve the problem, but you don't know what the solution looks like. The fourth problem on the problem scale is called a vision problem. And now I'm a prospect. I am well aware that I have a problem. I wanna solve it and I know exactly what I'm looking for. In fact, I might, know, I might know so much what I'm looking for that I've got an RFP on the street. That's how tight my scope is, okay? So when you approach a sales campaign, the first question you should ask yourself is, what problem category am I in? This customer, are they in latent, passive, active, or vision? And then your sales approach adjusts. For example, if someone's in the vision category, they know exactly what they're looking for, and you walk in a sales call and ask them 25 questions, you're dead. They don't have time for that. They've been through that. They just wanna know why you're better than the bad guys. On the same token, if you walk into a customer on the other end of the extreme and they have a problem, but they don't know it and you don't make them aware of the problem, you're never gonna get any business out of that account. Your job there is more education than it is selling, is calculating the cost of inaction. When you're dealing with someone who's aware that they have a problem, but they're not addressing it, or they, it, you lose time, they're, they're kind of loosely committed to the ROI, but not really. And you're wondering what the heck, why are they not moving forward? You've got to calculate the cost of inaction. And that calculation can't be your numbers. It has to be their numbers. For example, let me tell you a story from my past. So as you guys know, I ran a company called SBI. It was in the sales effect in this game. And very often the compelling event to hire our firm is a company was launching a new product. And they needed to get their sales force trained on how to sell the new product. And the new product had a release date. Let's say it's, I don't know, April 30th. And they communicated to Wall Street that over the next 12 months, they were going to generate X amount of dollars tied to that new product. And when our projects would slip, when we would have a customer and we were losing to do nothing and they weren't acting and we didn't know why, we would bring them to that and would say, listen, every day that goes by is a day that you can't get back. It's a day of missed sales. By the way, this time next year, you're going to be standing in front of analysts and they're going to say, you told us that 10% of revenue this year was coming from this new hot product you sold. And it's at 6%. Your stock's going to take a hit and you might lose your job. And every day that clicks by, you're killing yourself. That's your cost of inaction. Try to find something in their environment that can create that type of urgency is what gets somebody, you know, who's kind of somewhere between passive and active. It gets them to act.